Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you a quick video of a project that I did today. Give you a rundown. You got your drill. Okay, don't bash it. It works. You know, but the batteries are getting kind of old. So you're drilling, right? And you're at the work site. And you, you hear the speed, it starts slowing down. Anyways, it dies. So, what are you going to do? You only have a quarters drill. You don't have, if you forgot to bring your drill that's plug in or you don't have a generator or whatever the case is, you don't have it. So, I made this. This is an old battery box, very light. And what I did was I took it apart. Fortunately, skill was smart. And the four holes you see there, two on the bottom, one right there, one right there. It's got uh, T9 Torx screws in there. I took it apart, took out the old battery cells. And then uh, before I did that, I took a voltmeter to it and saw which one of these two, which one of these two pins is um, positive and negative. And this one is the positive and that one's the negative. And, uh, and then this one right here was the temperature sensor for the battery charger. So that obviously didn't get connected up because this will this this particular battery case will never see the battery charge again. But all I did was I just took two banana plugs sockets and Frankenstein this thing. So now I thought of putting them on one side, but the problem is when you're using a drill, it's going to shake back and forth when you're doing things. So and this just kind of worked out. And also I kept them separate like that, so that way I don't accidentally plug it in backwards because the last time I did that to another drill I had, uh, it fried the uh, controller circuitry in there and that drill never worked again. So it didn't fry the motor obviously because the motor goes, uh, gets uh, current for both in both directions to uh, enable reverse on the drill or en enable both directions. But anyway, so you get a battery this size, you can get them wherever. Uh, this one happens to be stolen out of a broken one of those portable jump packs, but you can find them on eBay for a couple dollars, about forty dollars with shipping, or you can just go to your local battery shop and go buy one. But uh, I have this cable that I made originally meant to go to the battery, to a deep cycle battery or something for my ham radio, and then this side I had made a connector to uh, connect to my solar panels to charge the batteries while I'm operating in the field but um, those panels are this does still still serve its purpose but as of right now that solar panel is permanently mounted in the yard but anyways so you get out there and you don't have access to AC power you plug it into one side positive on this side negative on the other side and as you see here it's actually kind of neat how it works because you can sit there shake it back and forth and the wires are not going to fall out. So, connect it up to the battery. And yes, the cord's a bit long, it's 14 gauge, but you know, honestly, given the fact it's a scale, it's obviously not going to last forever. You know, it's going to have a little bit less power, but at least when you need portable power, uh, and you do need to drill something out in the field, this is a lot easier to carry than a whole bunch of extra batteries. And it's definitely a lot easier than carrying a generator. So you just switch it out. Kind of hard to do this with one hand. Hang on a minute. And then just pop it on. Just like so and then make sure I got the connections right that's my negative that's the positive slides right on just like normal and then drill as many holes as that battery will last or until your motor burns out 